obviously, uh, congratulations, it was a really cool finish, but it took you a while to really get going in there. Why was that? Is, did it do something that surprised you? Maybe you were just getting used to the octagon a little bit? Uh, thank you. Um, uh, he got the takedown. I was working to not get, not to get down. So uh, that was a surprise, and I have to work to get up. So I was moving and checking and watching what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do. So he made the mistake in the second round, so I dropped it. Were there any, let's say nerves, but maybe a little bit of anxiety jitters about having your UFC debut? Oh, no. Um, I'm glad to have in my debut, uh, but I was not... I don't know, not a jitter or nothing. I was just focusing and watch what I'm going to do. He came back, like you said, there was a moment there where he caught you by surprise. If you had to grade your performance uh, looking back without having looking back at it yet, uh, how do you feel about it if you have to give it a grade? Uh, I'm happy about it. It's just how we train. Uh, he surprised me, of course, with the, ref, uh, the over and right. And I was like, oh, damn. And that was, I'm smiling. Like, oh, okay, that was a good one. So after that, I pick it up. So that, that was a surprise. He's, he, he has a, a, a few fights already in the UFC. Were you, were you surprised with the, the, the way you were able to, to, to finish him in the, in the second round? No, uh, I know uh, Junior was a, a good fighter in the UFC. So. We were, we were working hard to go five weeks earlier. I fought in another country, so then I heard that I got a contract from the USC. So when I heard I'm going to fight against Albini, I changed my whole plan because it's the highest level in the world. Everybody's prepared. Nobody's just coming to the fight like, okay, I'm going to do it. So everybody's prepared, so yeah. You have a short career in, in MMA, but you're very ex uh, experienced in kickboxing. Talk, talk about your, your, your career in, in, in kickboxing before you made a, the, the transition to MMA. I'm a kickboxer for like 10 years. I uh, did a lot of matches. I have uh, 76 fights in kickboxing and 46 KO. So I have a great career in uh, kickboxing, yeah. The, the, the career is short in MMA, but I have a lot of experience. Stand up. Was the transition comfortable for you? A little bit, but I work on it. Uh, I think I'm working from now five or four years. I'm still working and keep working on MMA, on the ground games. And you see, uh, it's not easy. You're not. It's not uh, not that easy that you can uh, uh, turn from Muay Thai to MMA or to ground. It's difficult. So, but now we keep working. We're learning. So it's not. It's just the beginning. Out of right now right now I'm training I do my camp in Aruba and that's how I do my camp I travel a lot to because in my country with the MMA is not that big I think this uh, I reached the highest level in MMA so now a lot of people in my country of our sporters gonna do MMA that for sure so I think from now and five six years there will be a better uh, grow in the MMA in Suriname you're the first uh, fighter from Suriname in the UFC, if I'm not mistaken. How important is that? Like, do you do you take pride in that, and do you feel the responsibility to carry uh, your country's flag? Yeah, that's true. I'm the first uh, Sudanese in the UFC, and I get in the full support of my country. And everybody's living with me, and I feel the love. The yeah, I feel everything for how they they support me, and yeah, yeah. Have you already got messages from there, calls from the people back in Suriname after the fight? Not yet. Uh, oh, yeah. A friend of me called my, uh, my colleague there, and then we talk a few. But everybody's crazy. I cannot even understand them. It's, uh, for, for us, for Suriname, we shocked the world. The first uh, Suriname uh, reached the UFC, win in the second round KO. So, yeah, for us, it's, it's big. Tyrone, Tyrone Spong is also from Suriname, right? Uh, do, you, do, do you know him? Do you have a relationship with him? That's my hero. We call, uh, before this fight, we call a lot. <clears throat> Tyrone is, respons uh, is uh, helping me a lot uh, with everything. I uh, working with Tyrone from a long time ago. When he saw me, I was a kickboxer from the beginning. Let's say C-class. <clears throat> That's the beginning of my career. I met him and he just, uh, he's there for me every time. And like a teacher, he's my hero. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Do you hope he, he, he joins you one day in the UFC? Of course. I want him to join the UFC. I would be glad. I would be great. Yeah, man. Uh, 
Jairzinho, you said a message in Portuguese to the crowd after the win. How much Portuguese do you know? Just that or you know something more? I think I can understand a little, but why why I send that message? Because I heard they were singing, Who from who? It's like I'm going to die. So I'm saying, hey, no worry. I love Brazil. We are together. And I'm close to Brazil. I'm Surinamese and I have the Brazilian name. So we are together, man. <clears throat> yeah. Now, do you, you Jairzinho, because of the player from the 70s, yeah. do you wish you can get to know him now, to meet him up now? Yeah, it would be great. If I, I go to the museum, I was in Sao Paulo, then I go to the museum and I make a couple of photos of him, uh, read a little bit about him. So it would be great if I can know him, <laughs> of course. No, you, you've trained here in Brazil, right? You've trained in Team Nogueira, you train with Honorio. Uh, do you feel like you can represent Brazil as well in the UFC? Uh, of course, I can move with, with all those guys, of course. You, you, do you have a, a plan now? Do you have anybody that you'd like to face next? Uh, for me, it's no worries. Uh, you come with someone, everybody stand in front of me. Let's go. I'm working and yeah, we are professionals. So anybody that's standing in front of me, let's roll, baby. Would you be interested in a quick turnaround? It seems like you're not injured or anything of that sort. One more time? Would you be interested in a quick turnaround? Because it seems like you didn't get injured in the fight. Oh, of course. Uh, I have uh, any injury. Uh, I feel good. So if something came up, of course, I'm in. And looking at the division, I mean, it, the heavyweight division is really wide open and it's the type of division that it just you don't need to have that many wins to get to the top and to fight high-ranked fighters. Looking at it, uh, how do you see your, your, how do you see the map of the heavyweight division? Do you see maybe a quick way to the top? Yeah, of course. I think I fit in the, the top eight, top ten. I think I will fit in, of course. How long do you, uh, do you put a deadline for yourself for you to get there? Like, do you have any goals? Like, in one year I want to be fighting these types of opponents. Like, do you make those types of plans? Uh, not yet, but I'm working on everything. <clears throat> I know it's a, a tough division. So I'm working on top and, yeah, me and my team. So we, we, that is our dream to reach the UFC. And now I'm reaching the UFC. Uh, I want to do the job. So I do the first one. Let's go. Do the, do the second one. I, I read an interview with that 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 you did to combat and you talk about uh, your past and that the fact that that that, that you, you you have spent, you spent some time in jail and as well how how important was martial arts to 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 get you back to 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 life and give you another another, another purpose in life uh, what can i say about that yeah <clears throat> a couple of guys bring me into something and I don't look at the past and martial art is my dream, <clears throat> kickboxing is my dream. I fight from since I was 17. Uh, I mean, the, I mean I'm, I'm a prof from <clears throat> now I think more than eight, ten years. So I don't focus on that, I don't want to get it uh, with people. So I learn from the past and yeah, I'm focused on the future.